Hello friends, I will quickly show you some of the macros that I have prepared to smartly format a log word document. First one is selecting all tables. So, word does not give a functionality to select all tables in a document. So, we use a macro. I just click this button. There. And all the tables are selected. So, well, we can use this macro to Let's say if you want to uniformly format all the all the tables of a document, you can give font, font name, font size, font color, bold, unbold. You can use the table properties. Well, to if you want to uh, not let the rows break across pages, right? You can give cell uh, margins. You can go to paragraphs and you can give spacing you can give line spacing etc etc so in short a lot lot many functionalities can be done using this feature then next up is selecting all header rows so uh, generally what we have seen is that of course headers and uh, the normal document is formatted differently so uh, all you have to do is press this button and all the header rows are selected so now you can format all the header rows separately separate from the normal table another one is selecting all the bullets so all the bullets uh, of any type in the entire document would get selected so again you can have uniform formatting for all the bullets another one is selecting long paras and selecting short paras so selecting short paras i, I will go to selecting short paras first Selecting short paras is mainly to let's say if you want to select all the headings, uh, probably uh, the default is 50. You can always change it. So this is the number of characters of a paragraph. So we just press OK, and all the headings of the document are selected. Now again, you can give a specific style to all the headings, or you can format all the headings in in similar manner. Okay. Another is selecting long paras, so this is completely opposite to what selecting short paras would do. Just press OK and all the long paragraphs have been selected. Please note that this excludes any paragraphs contained in a table or bullets. Well, so if you want to get, if you like my macros, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and in the comment box. Please drop in your email ID so that I can send you the code behind this macro. I will also tell you the way in which you can use these macros in absolutely any document that you want. Thanks a lot for watching this video.